So yesterday we talked about fissures and with this diagram we try to understand what is fissure and then uh, exactly how important it plays, how important it is uh, in a pattern recognition process, right? So with this bike you have seen that its different parts can be, uh, you know, uh, taken considered as different features, right? Then we go for defining the features like a feature is an uh, is a function of one or more measurements computed so that it quantifies some significant characteristics of the object. Okay, so every feature is related to some significant characteristics of object. And I have cited to an example of our human face, like we have eyes, ears, nose. Okay, they are different features of human face. And we have seen that in case of feature, feature vector, plays important role because feature vector is the sequence of features represented as a d-dimensional column vector. And I think I have also illustrated that what is d-dimensional column vector with some example. If any uh, doubt do exist with respect to d-dimensional column vector, then you can ask. Otherwise, I told you that d-dimensional column vector means suppose we have uh, considered d is equal to three. T is equal to three means this becomes three dimensional column vector. Three dimensional column vectors means I'm considering three columns and every column is treated as a different dimension or separate dimension, right? So that becomes a feature vector of three dimensional column vector. Similarly, you can give your own example with more than three dimension. Okay. Then we talk about MFCC, malfrequency Spectral uh, coefficients that is uh, for speech recognition. So I'm not considering this part because I also don't uh, do research in the part of speech recognition. But if you do have interest on this, then you can go for it. Overall, this all these things belongs to pattern recognition process, right? Up to this, I think all the uh, points are clear to you, right? Do you want to ask something here? Yes, sir, someone's been here to Batado. Please give response. Yes, sir. All topics yes, are clear. Yes, yes, sir. Then Then we try to understand what is the role of future in the pattern recognition process. And we have seen that actually these features being extracted from those raw data that you have collected from different sources, right? Okay, so then here pre-processing plays a very important role because with the help of pre-processing, we try to clean those raw data because we don't need some, uh, you know, outliers. Now, outlier means what? Can anybody out of, uh, from you uh, explain this term to me? Outlier. Outlier ka matlab kya hai? Koi bata sakti hai kya mujhe? Sir, unwanted data. Unwanted data, right? More specifically? Mm. See, um, what uh, I think Joyita, no? Joyita said is correct, of course. Uh, in this pattern recognition uh, means paper, you should step one step ahead than those who are learning DWDM. Right, because this is an elective subject, you have to learn a lot more than those uh, who are learning those DWDM. Okay, so outlier. Uh, uh, mean, huh, bolo? 
So actually, I'm uh, studying about this. So outlier actually, sir, observation that lies uh, an ob uh, abnormal distant from other values. So actually, I'm using this uh, on our research, sir. Actually, sir, very I'm good. using that good. algorithm actually. Local outlier. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good answer, of course. Okay, we have to deal with these outliers in our research project. I uh, I know that you are doing research on me, so. Uh, anyway, we are going to face these things. Okay, so outlier means those data points which are lying far from those uh, other data. Okay, if you want to give me an example, I can give one, or otherwise, I will skip this. If you have an example, uh, I will an example, skip because this is a part of data over mining process. So give example. So give an example. Okay. So um, I'm thinking about giving the example in the data mining. Uh, anyway, see one, two, three, five, zero, three. I'm just considering four data points. Okay. I have just considered four data points. Now look at these data points and tell me, is there any means, uh, unwanted things that you have observed here in this data set? Or something means uh, not easily digestible thing that you have seen in this data set? this data set Ankit? Yes, sir. This one, uh, 503 is. Right. But why? Yeah. So, because this is a three digit number and others are two, uh, one digit. Okay. Anyone else? Sir, same as Ankit told. Same as Ankit told. Right. Okay. Well, uh, so 50T, of course. 50T, in this case, is an outlier. Let me tell you why. This is not just because of three digits. Now, yeah, you are correct. Of course, three digits number, but others are one digit. First of all, if we consider one centralized point here, okay, say I am considering zero, the distance of this point one from zero is one. Either I am considering normal city block distance metrics or Euclidean distance metric, whatever you have considered, you will find this distance as one. Similarly, from zero, okay, zero as is our, suppose I am considering zero as our central point, okay, or center. So from zero to two, the distance is two. From three to zero, distance is three, but from five, zero, to zero, the distance is how much? Five zero t. So when you analyze these distances, okay, distance of every data point to its center, you will find that this distance from this point five zero t to the center is not really acceptable. Why? Because five zero t, this distance is what? far lower than the distances among the other points and center. Right or wrong? 50T is greater than one, 50T is greater than two, yes, sir, yes. greater than T. Yes. But it is, it, this number is very weak, right? So we cannot accept this. So this means to say that this 50T is, if we plot this, you'll see in our uh, lectures of either uh, data mining or if uh, I cannot consider a practical portion in my data mining class, I'll consider this in the pattern recognition class. Okay, if we plot this data point, then say this is the zero, say this is one, uh, two, three, like that. These three points are there. And if I plot five zero to here, then this will be somewhere like this. 
So, what happens? These are scattered here, and this is far away from this data point. So, we don't need to consider those data points in our data set, in our means uh, transform data sets, which are, actual, which are actually no way related to the other data points, either distance calculation point of view or some other uh, properties point of view. Okay, that's why the term outlier. Out matlab kya hai? Bohut bahar or liar matlab jahan bahar reh rahe hai. Thik hai? Outlier ka matlab ye pura data set se jo bahar hai. Thik hai? Now, you tell me whether this concept on outlier is clear to you or not. Everybody, please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thik hai? So, what happened actually? Sir. Yes. Sir, um, there can be more data set. Okay, uh, I'll come to that point. But up to this, is this clear? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Paisa, no. I will consider your question, no doubt. Okay, so I think we have around uh, how many students? 35 students, excluding me and including me, 36. Okay, so. What about the race 30 guys? Have you understood or not? Same time, say yes or no. Yes, sir. 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 Why I have asked you this question? Although it looks simple to you, but you know, you are going to actually implement this topic in your research project. Okay. So, uh, the question asked by, I think, uh, Kash, who asked this question? Uh, sir, Kashyavi. Kashyavi, okay. So, right. First of all, I, I will come to discuss data set. What is data set? This is a part I have included in your syllabus. This syllabus I have framed myself, okay, as I told you. So, I try to include all the technical terminologies that are needed. So you don't need to worry, I'll discuss data set. But just for this moment, you do understand that data set means what? First of all, the first time is data, right? And second time is set. Set means a collection of objects. We all know that. And data set means collection of data points. So what happened? So I like this one, one, two, three, five, zero, three. This can be also considered as a data set. Okay, only one data set, and it has how many data points? One, two, three, four data points, right? So I think Kaisabi wants to ask one question that if I consider more number of data points in a data set, suppose I have considered 1000 data points. Okay, now I have considered four data points. If I have considered say uh, 1000 data points, then what would happen? How to find out the uh, means uh, outlier in that case, right? Uh, Kashyabi, this is the question you want to ask? Uh, sir, actually, uh, uh, I basic data set hopo I initial point into center point, no, zero to. Uh, mm -hmm. Jodi tar jagat mane jodi five zero three to jodi mane useful data jodi hoy titiya hetu jodi ami aniye otrai don titiya to dikjar ho chabon mane hetu kotha confuse ho chhe. Okay okay. First of all, kashya bhi swa. See, this is one data set. Okay. Aro tumi kua mote one two three five zero three to more otrai dilu. Okay. So etu mo kio karne koi su mai bar tuma koi disu. Ha. To me, uh, suppose population data, the, oh, see, Kaisabi, whatever we are learning here, all are practical things. Okay, so more yet example, the Sarita data point, but exactly practically Sarita data point, not get more. Tumar Takibo a hazard, minimum, suppose my Jur Hator population calculate Koribole Kuyasu. I will get more than one lakh of data points. The Dimoy Potijan Manuho at a data point is a consider if I consider every human being as a one data point, then 
of course i'll go, uh, going to get more than 2 lakhs of data points right buji paisa so when we uh, mean uh, manually this, this do this thing mane ami jodi nije ko without taking the help of some machine learning algorithm some pattern recognition things then manually this is a very big task to go through all those data points right now moi etu kobo bisaisu je jodi yat 1000 ta data point thake ar tar majot tumi keneke bichari ulia ba je etu points tu bahut dangor etu points tu amar kane joruri so in that case what we do we take the help of some statistical measures what i have said statistical methods like in this case moi ki kolu 0.2 center hisabe loisu you can consider any other point also but in the, by default i am considering zero as our center point but you can consider other points let me give you one example how other the, the uh, means uh, you, you know uh, center can be considered say 1 2 3 5 0 p mo ki korim i will add this points and divide by 4 that will again be what whatever the value i will get that can be considered as a center right or wrong so but what happened in that case that center will not act as an accurate center why because maximum of the data points lies near the zero only one data points lies outside it so what happens any way you have to what remove this data point yet important or kotha aha hetan 5032 a 1 practical example if i want to cite a practical example suppose i want to find those persons who are below the eight below 18 years age buji paisa please all of you give response up to now is this clear what i am talking about Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. sir. This example will be very important. Please listen carefully. So I have considered all those persons, either boys, girls, who are below 18 years age. Now, out of the 2 lakh of data points, I will get, say, 30,000 such data points or persons who are below 18 years age. But among those data points, I will get also the such data points who will be say 65 years of age, 70 years of age, say someone 18 years of age, right? But my question is to you, whether we are going to consider this point in our case, in our case means those data points who, who are, or those persons who are below 18 years of age, are we going to consider them? No, sir. No, sir. No, no, uh, Yes, no, sir. Okay, that's the answer to your question. See, means with respect to our main tasks, whatever the machine learning tasks we are uh, mean, uh, speaking to, we don't need to mix up them. Means we are also going to consider only those data points on the basis of some distance matrix or whatever the matrix you are considering, who whose values are less than 80. But this C, 65, 70, 80, they are far away from this 80. So, of course, this will act as what? Outlier for our tax. Now you tell me whether the concept of outlier is clear to you or not. Abhi ab log batao ki outlier ka concept clear ho gaya? Ya to mein fir se ek bar samjha sakta hu ab logo. This is clear. Yes, sir. Everyone, uh, Ankit, Kashabi, Joyta, Dibyo, whoever, how many of us we have? 37 guys. Please tell me, concept of how clear. Clear now? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir, sir clear. Uh, yeah, please uh, repeat yes, the sir. question. 
ट्रांसफरमेशन that weight problem can anybody recall it or do you want to want me to explain that thing again yesterday maine aap logo ko ek example diya tha clean wala to ho gaya outlier remove kar diya humne ab transformation for the transformation part also i have given one example of weight how to transform this thing Can anybody recall that, or you want me to explain that part also again? So please explain it one more time. Okay. See, I have considered a data set, say D two, <coughs> sorry, where data points are some weight values. Right, you guys used to measure your weight or not? You know, look, weight measure. You guys, 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 आप तो जिम जाते हो सर या तो जिम बस क्या 59 केजी वेरी गुड तो वेट तो मेजर किया है है ना 59 केजी हां सर वेरी गुड बाकी लोगों ने वेट आज तक मेजर किया ही नहीं है देखो कोई रिस्पोंस है ही नहीं सर किया सर 75 प्लस किया 75 का है तू को कौन है वो बताओ चलो सर दिब्बो दिब्बो ओके सर 86 कोई बात नहीं सर ओके जोएता सर इमान बेसी ना हो ओके आई एम कंसीडरिंग थर्टी ओके एंड देन अंकित और व्हाट इज जस्ट आई वांट टू नो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू हैव गाइस गोन थ्रू द वेट मेजरिंग प्रोसेस एट लीस्ट फॉर वंस so to my look at when i ask you your weight you have given the answer like in kg right say 65 kg 70 kg okay in our joyta case we have 30 kg in our kashyavi case say 45 like that so these are the example but if i remove this kg by lb means pound now can you tell me whether all these measurements are same now or wrong or not no sir yes sir can you say that measurements are same like the unit yeah you need place the important unit will be different okay. suppose you say that 65 kg but i have put in, i have put that uh, your weight is 65 pound are they same no sir no sir No. no but when you gather that those data from suppose you have 36 guys okay you have gathered this data for this 36 guys one is giving the weight in kg and one is giving the weight in pound okay for the data collection part you have gathered this thing but when you go to the algorithm algorithmic approach or machine learning based approach that machine is not going to consider them differently separately okay they are considering machines are going to consider them only either in kilogram or in pound 
because this algorithms, whatever the input you are feeding, that should be only in the same unit. So my point is that you need to convert all these weight values either into the kilogram distance unit or distance matrix or pound distance unit. Then only you can feed this input to your algorithm, machine learning algorithm, either your uh, classification algorithm or your clustering algorithm. Right? So what I have said that first of all, after the cleaning process, you need to transform you know, those data points value into one particular unit. That is known as your data transformation. Now you tell me whether the definition of data transformation is clear to you or not. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Okay, so this cleaning and transformation process overall they will give you the features that you are going to need for your model. So there also you will go to a lot of features out of which many of them are redundant in nature. Redundant ka matlab kya hai? Repetitions. Or ham repetition nahi sahte hai. Koi bhi ek machine learning approach mein, koi bhi pattern recognition approach mein, aap repetition nahi sahte. You, anybody, you don't want uh, redundancy in your machine learning approach. So that is known as what? You have to reduce the dimensions of futures and that is known as future reduction. And overall, this all this process is known as futures engineering. And from that only, you will get the required or that the input for your model. Okay, let me show you one more diagram for it. This, see, raw data, then this- Sir, what is the name of the process? Yes. Please repeat. So your voice is lagging. Okay, now is this clear? Is it coming? Yes, sir. Yes. So what I have yes, said sir. that this fuser, first of all, fuser extraction, then fuser reduct, <coughs> reduction. Okay, reduction matlab kam karna. So redundant hai, aap usko remove karoge. Okay. So overall this process, they will be known as fuser engineering. So raw data, then for the feature engineering process, you will get some meaningful features and those meaningful features will be fit to your machine learning model or you can say pattern recognition approach. I hope this diagram is clear to you. So now in the last class also, I told you that, that, that whatever the points I have discussed us, they are related to our normal data points. But if we consider some unstructured data, or you know, in current days research of artificial intelligence, we maximum time deals with uh, unstructured data. And for that, computer vision plays a very important role. Like in this case, in this simple example, you have seen that this is the image of cat. Our task is to classify that this is cat, and our task is to localize it where it actually exists. And then next thing is, Object detection means among the different objects, you need to detect that this is the feature of cat and this is the feature of object, then you need to segment that. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this and you can give your attendance to the chat box. So with this, I hope uh, all these points are clear to you. I'm going to terminate the lecture. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.